Yo, what's up guys? So this is the second video about the finance app that I'm making. I don't even have a name yet. I've been messing with some ideas. At first I thought of rung, like, you know, one step at a time, like a rung on the ladder. But I don't really know what I wanna call it. Figuring it out as I go. But I'm gonna do my first like full session. So I'm making some decaf right now, just so I can have something to sip on. And then I'm gonna sit down and dig through this. I'm thinking I'm gonna just start messing with Swift tonight because I kind of already know how I wanna build the app. So tonight I'm just gonna start playing around, trying to build some UIs in Swift and see what I can do. Since I wanna use this project also to learn Swift, since it's kind of like a longer one. So yeah, so tonight I'm gonna mess around with Xcode. I haven't messed around with it in a while. I think I did a video on here where I tried to build an app in Xcode, like build one of the apps I already had. That was the extent of my Xcode knowledge. So tonight I'm just gonna see if I can create a new project and maybe just build out a transaction row. I don't know, kinda gonna see how it goes. Based off how tonight goes, I might change my decision on if I want to build this in Flutter or not. The reason I'm, I'm kind of juggling it, just to kind of get you guys into my head, is Flutter I like for building my own projects, and I like doing it for work. And I'm happy where I'm at. I don't plan on leaving my job anytime soon, but I don't like it when my side projects are in the same language that I use at work. That might sound dumb to some people, but I kind of like using the side projects as a way to learn a new language. So I've pretty much been sticking with Flutter for the past four years. And that makes me feel a little anxious. So I want to start mixing it up. So that's the reason I want to jump to Swift. For building the project, Flutter would be better because I could push it out to Android. So I, I know that's a negative, but I think I'm still going to use Swift. Super short first impression. Only thing I noticed so far is the hot reload with Swift. It was like instant. I don't know if you guys saw I was typing and it was reloading automatically. With Flutter you have to save. I don't know how useful that is, but it's pretty cool that it's like just instant like that.
Hmm. All right. So I didn't get too far tonight. You guys saw I built out some basic transaction list. I took the long approach to this. I was just learning about Swift. I was reading through documentations. I'm looking at a Code Academy document right now. I'm going kind of back to the old way of learning. Lately, I've been finding myself rely on AI a ton and just vibe code things out like a lot of people are doing now. And I think that's super useful when you know a tool, when you know a language, when you know a framework. I feel like it can be a crutch when you don't know that language or tool or framework. For example, I don't know Swift. So if I just let Cursor or Copilot code this out for me, I'm not gonna understand the code. So I wanted to kind of understand how Swift does things, how they break down their data, how they create lists, simple stuff, and just kind of get a basic understanding before I start relying on AI. Even the AI autocomplete, I might disable that just for this learning process because when I'm trying to figure out the syntax of Swift, it just suggests it to me. So I don't even have to think, which is, which again is good for whenever like I know the tool, but right now I think it's hindering the learning a bit. I've been really trying to figure out the best way of using AI to learn. Um, Cause like I've been building like some web apps on the, on the side, like just on the side and I've used AI for that, but I kind of understand React already. I've worked in React a lot. I understand SQL. So it's just helping me out with just building out the UI. A lot of the logic and the hard part, I'm the one that does that. So I think it's useful there. I think I'm kind of rambling now about AI and learning and stuff. So I'm getting tired. This was kind of enough for me. Like I said, I'm doing this differently. I'm not gonna rush this project. What I hope to get done by the end of this week is I hope to be able to actually maybe add a transaction connected to a database. Maybe I have to start with this local. I don't know yet. Um, yeah, figuring it out as we go. Stay along for the ride, y'all. Let's see where this goes. I'm also, tell me what you think about the name. Flow. I don't know, because there's gonna be a chat piece in this app also, right? So I'm trying to figure out something that like, you know, chat with flow or login in flow. I don't know, or login in flow. I don't know. Flow would be spelled F L O E. Let me know what you think. Peace.